Well, and since a fire like this is rare, staying alert may seem difficult for first responders. But as News 19's Colton Emsweiler explains, even events like this can catch them off guard. When a massive fire breaks out like the one Thursday morning in La Crosse, so many people are ready to give an extra set of hands. La Crosse County Emergency Services Coordinator Kevin Rindy says that protocols are in place to bring in help from surrounding areas. If we have a major fire in La Crosse County, we have systems in place and programs and plans in place for mutual aid responses uh, throughout the county. So if one agency has a big fire like they did this morning in downtown La Crosse, we can call uh, other agencies in from throughout the county uh, to help out and then get other out-of-county resources to come in and stand by. And while no one expected the fire to break out, everyone was ready when the call came in. Jeff Schott with the La Crosse Fire Department says they are grateful for the aid of other organizations that combated the blaze. Yeah, unfortunately it's rare, but the fortunate part is that we have our mutual aid partners in place. So you'll see the Shelby fire truck is here. They've been on scene since early this morning. We've had on Alaska covering calls on the north side. Uh, we've also had Shelby covering calls on the south side because we had all hands working here, all units in the city. Officials say communication was key and the combined efforts of the departments resulted in the best possible scenario. No injuries reported. At the scene of the fire in La Crosse, I'm Colton Emsweiler, WXOW News 19. And among the groups to help out in the effort, Gunderson Tri-State Ambulance, XL Energy, La Crosse PD, and the Emergency Dispatch Center.